Let me show you how to combine animations in iClone so that they become one continuous motion. This is especially important for animations that have forward motion built in for characters that are walking so that we can avoid foot sliding that way. I'll show you this with multiple animations and I'll also show you this within the same animation if we snip a bit out that we don't want to have anymore. So let me go and show you the problem first of all. This is a character walking animation and Usually, by default, if I go and apply another animation here, then I might experience this. So the forward motion of the second animation is not continued after I apply a second animation, because usually animation programs don't really care. They just play the animation on the character, and that's really that. But iClone has a really cool built-in feature that's called Auto Motion Alignment. This is it here, down here, this icon. You can enable it from here, or you can also use this drop-down menu to get a couple of settings here. If you're not an icon person like I am, you can also head over to animation and then you see here auto motion alignment. No alignment is off position only or align position and direction. Notice this feature is enabled by default in iClone, but I've disabled it when I applied the second animation. And that is why this jumping thing happens here. So if I go and enable it now and remove the second animation and just apply it again from the library, you'll see that iClone is clever enough to calculate the forward motion going forward, which is great. So now aside from this little popping that we have because I haven't blended the animations together, the character seems to walk forward and continuously walks. So in order to get rid of that, just in case you're not familiar with that, you have this bi-directional blending in iClone 8 now, which is really, really cool. You can drag these little triangles out on either clip, and then you can go and bring these clips back together, and now you have blended in both directions. So, you know, if we do a little bit more work there, we can see that there's no more popping. There's, I could have probably done this a little bit better, but hey, one of those things. So this is the auto motion alignment in principle. So this worked because I had it enabled and then I applied another motion. But this doesn't work if I go and have an animation on the timeline already. iClone doesn't know that, so it has to have that animation reapplied for the calculation to happen again. Let me go and show you another example here uh, with something like this animation that is a bit long and I would like to cut a bit out. And to do that, we can also make use of auto motion alignment, but it's a little bit more tricky. So the character walks over here, waits, walks over here, waits, turns and walks over here. Let's say at this point, I'd like the character to stop. So I'll go and break the motion here, right click, and then this menu comes up here. And then that creates me a second clip. And I'll go forward to just before she starts walking again. And I'll go and break that clip here one more time. So now I have three clips. And if I go and take the second clip out and take the third clip and make it my second clip, then I will see that even though auto motion alignment was enabled, it wasn't honored. So now iClone doesn't calculate this, which is a problem because obviously I don't want this jump to happen. So what's the solution? Well, since the calculation is applied when we add the motion to the timeline, we can just go and either save this bit out or even better, just copy it and paste it back in. That'll also make that calculation happen again. I don't need to copy it, I can also cut it out. So Control X will remove that. And now position your cursor, Control V to bring that motion back. And now we can see that the auto motion alignment has indeed worked, which is great. So once again, I can just go and drag these clips together. Then I get that blending there as well. Or I can go and drag the handles out and then, you know, auto motion alignment is on it even in the same animation when we take a bit out. I hope you enjoyed this little iClone quick tip. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments and I'll hope I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye bye.